Hello everyone and welcome to my channel today. I have a little bit of a cold so I know I sound funny but bear with me. First and foremost, please ignore my laundry in the background and please ignore the terrible setup I have going on right now. We just moved into a rental so it's echoey I know, my background's a disaster, I tried putting my background up, it was giving me trouble. Oh joy, and now it looks like my battery didn't even charge. So, I think we're gonna do a quick, like, natural makeup get ready with me. I have a couple products I wanna try. The first one is the Ren Clear Skin Perfect Canvas. Oh, another disclaimer, my nose is like super dry because I've um, been blowing my nose a lot because I'm sick. So, yeah, it's gonna be a great day. This stuff smells like baby powder. <laughs> That's the best way I know how to put it. Um, it's supposed to be like a serum makeup primer. Feels really thin, really nice going on. A little bit sticky, but in a good way. I think with a product like this, it's the benefits are in the skincare. You're getting skincare with your makeup, so I feel like that's kind of like something you'll notice. But it does feel like a nice base for makeup. Like I said, today's a total shit show. <laughs> My camera just died, so I charged it a little bit. Hopefully it'll last through a little bit of the video at least. The next thing I want to try is the Long Home Skin Feels Good. It's like a BB cream, and I have the color 25 Warm Beige. The first thing I'm going to do though, because it's going to be like coverage, I'm going to kind of color correct some scars. One of my favorite products to do this with is the NYX, what is this even called? Color Correcting Concealer Palette. And <clears throat> I take this color just because they're really dark pigments in my skin instead of like green will counteract redness so this one's kind of red but even over those I like to just cancel out the darkness because I have a lot of dark I scar super easy so every time I break out I will have darkness and I just blend it out a little not a lot all right looking pretty crazy but crazy good and take a little bit of this stuff probably I'm gonna try on a brush just because that'll give me a little more coverage at least it's packaging kind of like the It Cosmetics. Okay, I got a little out and now it's like pooping out on me. Come on. Sometimes I'll just squeeze the tube. There we go. Sometimes that helps. So I'm taking like, I don't know, two or three pumps. The color's a little light, but you know, it's fine. Oh, coverage is actually pretty dang good, guys. It feels really lightweight going on. Feels like I'm like kind of rubbing water into my skin. It smells good, like clean. I really like the smell of this. A lot of times like the higher end fancy brands smell very floral and I hate floral smells. So I'm very happy that it's not like that. Even on my super dry flaky nose right now, it looks pretty good. I'd say it has like a medium coverage, not gonna lie. Decent coverage, especially because it's kind of like just like a BB. Skin feels good, hydrating skin tint, healthy glow. Hyaluronic acid. I really can't see like foundation on my skin either. You can tell I have something on just because like over my scarring and stuff, it's minimized. So like obviously something's on it, but it looks nice. I like want that smell in a perfume. Jeez, it smells so good. Okay, one of my favorite products for like no makeup days is the Double Wear Concealer from Estee Lauder. It's like when I'm not wearing any foundation at all, it looks really nice on because it doesn't look like you have makeup on. It like melts into your skin nicely. That's a really nice combo on my nose. I like that. Hmm, I'm liking this combo. If you guys want to see an actual like no makeup makeup look where I use hardly any makeup, let me know because I do have like a like literally a two minute routine for that for when I just like am breaking out really bad or something like that. Let me know down in the comments. I'm trying to pre-film a ton because I'm gonna be gone for three months this summer. First, we're going to North Carolina for a family reunion. And then on in June, late June, I'm gonna be going to a trainer in Oklahoma to work for her. And I'll be doing that through NSBA World. So I'm really freaking excited, but I'm not gonna be able to film. So pre-filming a ton now. Let me know what you wanna see down in the comments. Also, while we're talking about this, I want to do a subscribers choose my makeup or like subscribers favorites type of makeup video. Um, leave all of your favorites either down in the description of this video or I put it on my Facebook as well as my Instagram. There's like a little blurb about it and just list off everything you love and I'm going to pick and choose. Somehow I don't have a system how I'm going to choose yet, but leave everything there. Let's continue. Okay, I'm going to take my Veil Translucent Powder from Hourglass. This stuff, guys, it is so freaking good. Like... 
it's amazing. It doesn't look like anything on your skin and it does not dry it out and make it like like dry matte grossness. It just kind of sets it. It has a little bit of a sheen. If you've ever tried the dim light powder from them in the pressed version, this is it, but in a loose form. I love it. Also, I see a lot of YouTubers that don't know how to use this packaging. I made a mess with mine, but all you're supposed to do is it has this little like bump in the lid. You're supposed to, when you're using it, like put the lid on obviously, dump it over and it dispenses just a little bit of product, which is enough to set your whole face. But obviously if you want more, you can like dump more out. I'm just like taking whatever's on my brush and kind of putting it where bronzer and stuff goes. Yeah, this still looks really nice. That powder just makes everything really blurred and smooth. Yeah, no, this is super comfortable. I could definitely see using this for horses. It's like a tinted moisturizer basically, so if you're into that, you might like this. I think, haha, my mother has been using this brow gel. She loves it. It's the Hourglass um, Brow Sculpting Gel. Brow Volumizing Fiber Gel. Jeez Louise, I can't say that. So one trick I've been doing, First of all, I got my brows tinted. They were tinted really dark, but they've kind of faded now. I've been going in on more natural days with the gel first. Because guys, once I got them tinted, there's actually, I have hair. I have hair on my eyebrows. I never knew it was there. And then they look kind of just sloppy. A lot of people would totally be fine. A lot of people would be totally fine just putting this on. Me personally, I like more sculpted, defined brows, even like naturally defined. <laughs> Um, so I'm gonna let that dry and then go in with the brow pencil and kind of tidy up just like fill in some areas because they're very uneven This is a much fuller brow um, But yeah, so let's go on. Let's do eyes. I mean honestly for a no makeup look You don't really need to put any eyeshadow on me personally. I am going to I'm just gonna use some bronzer I think try to use products that I love but don't show in videos a lot This is the Anastasia bronzer in rosewood really like this. It's they're very pigmented But this color is a lot lighter it's like the lightest shade they sell, so I don't have to be too terribly careful. So this is a good trick just to like naturally contour your eye, give it a little bit of dimension without being crazy. That's pretty good for me. Now personally, even though it's not like a natural thing, I love using a ton of highlighters on days that I'm like not doing much with my face. I love a ton of highlighter all the time, but especially when I'm not doing too much on my face. So I'm gonna change things up a little. I'm going to use a Becca highlighter. I have been stuck on my Anastasia ones, but this is Champagne Pop, oldie but a goodie. I like to do a bunch on the high point of my cheek right here, and then I go in with a small angled brush. It's fluffy still, and I do the tip of my nose, and right here. For some reason, I have a bunch of texture on my nose right now. It's driving me insane, and of course, highlighter just emphasizes texture, so... If you have a lot of texture, just pinpoint where you like highlighter. You might not want to put it everywhere I put it. Then I'm just going to put a little on my finger into that inner corner. And I like to go like a little bit under the lower lash line. I feel like it really helps you brighten things up. And then whatever's on my brush, I just put on my kind of cupid's bow area. Okay, now I'm going to go back into brows. I like using my Hourglass Brow Sculpting Pencil. And so I can get, I have like hardly any left of it. Okay, so I lightly comb through the brow gel, and then I start by underlining. And I focus mainly on the tail, because that's where I need some help. And I bring it a little further in. Oof, the air conditioning just kicked on, yes. It's so hot in here. I'm in Arizona, and right now it's 98 degrees out. <laughs> then I take my handy dandy concealer brush. I could not live without this brush. I don't know what it is. It came in a like cheap uh, brush set on Groupon literally like seven years ago. Literally not 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 being dramatic at all. I just kind of tidy up the edges. Like I said, I like a really sculpted brow, so going with something a little lighter under the brow. This is like a routine I would do when I'm at horse shows and on the off days or whatever when I don't want to do full on makeup. Something like that. <clears throat> it's more like an everyday thing rather than going in with a bunch of eyeshadow and everything. Okay, camera died again. <laughs> Let's keep going. All I did was add I used the e.l.f. precision brow pencil, the little tiny one in the front of my brows, that's all I did. And then let's go into my bronzer slash contour. This is the Ciate London Bamboo Bronzer in Palm Island. This is the absolute best for a like bronze contour type of thing. I just take an angled brush and like get a lot of product. It's not overly pigmented thankfully. And then I put it kind of like a contour but like a blown out contour just to add a little depth and dimension. Yeah, this is one of my favorite products to use for something quick because it does a lot for your face, but it's super easy, super fast. 
super quick. Ooh, I just had an idea. I want to do a Q&A video. I don't know, leave any questions you have for me down in the description as well. I will, or the um, comments, and I will try to get to them. Someone DM'd me a second ago, which sparked all this. It's a Sammy, Sammy Jammy 426 hello. <laughs> I'm currently looking at her messages. She asked me, do you like Western or English more? I'm so partial because I love like big floaty movers. Like I love the English movers, but at the same time, I really love doing trail and showmanship. And I like the pleasure, but I like a forward pleasure horse. <laughs> um, so anyways, it's really like, I don't know. I love both of them. I think just because there's more events that I love, I would say the Western. But I really love a big, floaty, gigantor horse, so yes. Anyways, let's keep going. Before my camera dies again, right? My favorite mascaras right now are the Monsieur Big from Lancome. I have the waterproof and the normal. I think I'm gonna use just normal today, but like for horse shows, waterproof for sure. I also stopped using my Rodan and Fields Lash Boost like two months ago. My lashes are still pretty long, but they definitely have gotten shorter. And I'm just doing a light coat of mascara. I try not to do anything crazy. Yeah, add a little definition. Gotta clean up. I got mascara on both sides here. Gotta clean that up. The other thing I like to do for really like quick natural kind of makeup is use this Josie Moran Argon Infinity Lip and Cheek Cream Oil. I know they don't sell this anymore, so I'm real sorry. But like a lip oil, I know Sephora has one, YSL has some really good ones. Josie Moran, you can find this one on Hot Look a lot. And it adds like hydration, a little color, and it stains, so it'll stay there for quite a while. I love using this for horseshoes too, actually, for something a little softer. Another thing I'll do for more natural looks is just use a gloss. This one's Sephora Collection Outrageous Plump Effect. It's number two. This one's good to just pop on. Let's just pop it on top anyways. It has a really slight, like, plumping effect. I don't notice anything crazy. So yeah, that's pretty much like what we'll do on the daily. Let's find a Q-tip and fix my eyeballs. So if you ever get mascara anywhere, let it dry and then just go back with the Q-tip and like really gently rub over it and it'll usually flake off. Waterproof, not always the same story. Alrighty, I think we're finished. This is just, like I said, it's like a no makeup, makeup. Like you're wearing makeup, but you don't want to look like you're wearing a lot of makeup type of thing. Um, I use this a lot, like, okay, right now. <laughs> this is why I'm doing this. I am going to work shipment at Sephora, but like, I, my schedule is from 7 p.m. to 1 a.m. So we are open from 7 to 9, so people are gonna see me, so I gotta look kinda good. So I just do something like this, like, it, it probably takes me 10 minutes when I'm not filming. It's really easy to do. Um, just use com some of your favorite products, and yeah, you'll get really fast at it. But anyways, if you guys like these videos, if you wanna see more natural videos, if you wanna see dramatic, let me know down in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. Give this video a thumbs up if you wanna see more. And don't forget to leave your questions um, either in the comments here or send me them on Instagram. Also, don't forget to leave your favorite products because I want to do one of those videos as well. And I guess I'll just see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.